So a while ago, I rewatched what is the objectively worst Super Mario Maker level by Sief Gaming. And in that level, he utilized warp pipes to create a set of time waster cells that would force Mario to bounce back in time, forth between two rooms while waiting for a piece which run out. But he could only make four of these because he ran out of warp pipes that he was allowed to place. But I thought he did not really make effective use of set warp pipes, which is why he only had four cells. And I designed a new design that made more effective use of these warp pipes to not just boost them up to 10 cells, but also enforce Mario having to go back into a block pipe every single time instead of only in two of the cells. And as a little Added bonus, I also created a separate time waster cell design that works with doors instead of warp pipes. So the way this works is that in order to enter any one of these cells, Mario walks through a pipe with a P-switch underneath the pipe that he's forced to step on in order to enter the pipe. And he can't just wait out the P-switch because once he presses the P-switch, a monster will fall down and block the pipe if he doesn't go through it immediately. And then on the other side of the pipe, there's a big monster that's gonna try and fall him in as long as the piece which is active, forcing him to immediately go back through the pipe and then run into the one way that is blocking the pipe on the other side. And then once Mario has walked through that pipe, the very next pipe has the same property where he has to activate a piece which in order to go through it and he can't wait out the piece which because a monster will fall and then he goes to the other side and a new monster will try and fall on him so effectively speaking this places a time waster cell after every single of the 10 warp pipes instead of only after 4 of them the door based time waster cells work in a similar manner here there's two piece which is because otherwise it's possible for Mario to just edge into the door without pressing the switch directly underneath it and then he's just bounced back and forth between the two doors where this time he can't enter the other side of the door because it's blocked by a block on a track. Now re-entering a door is not quite as fast as re-entering a pipe is so he's actually on the other side a bit longer and because of this this does not waste exactly quite as much time but it's still 8 extra slightly less effective time waster cells to further enhance the time Mario spends not having fun. And as a small little addition, it's still possible to run the block tower with the monster falling on the bomb by just having the door that you'd normally take back to the start lead into a time waster cell that's door based and thereby still keep the 10 pipe based and 8 door based time waster cells that Mario would have to go through all of these times in order to trigger the muncher all of these times. So yeah, just a slight, uh, I don't know if it should be called improvement to the design Sieve made in which we just kind of optimize our usage of pipes and doors to further increase the amount of time Mario spends not having fun to make the objectively worst level objectively even worse. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go kick a puppy down a flight of stairs.